Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mascara frozen push for you. How long has it been since I've done one of these? Six months, if not longer. So this is the Ico oh my God. Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go in the color, I don't know, black, I suppose. Um, it doesn't really have a name. Um, so it's sitting back, wake up your eyes with a fiber enhanced formula infused with caffeine, arginine and biotin oil, tripetite, oh my god, to stimulate lash growth. Okay, but it's a mascara, so it's not like a lash serum, or something. it's an actual mascara, it is a black mascara. So let me zoom in so I can show you what the wand actually looks like. I know this one, can you, oh my god, it's so red. <laughs> Don't ask me why, it just is. So it is a squeezy tube. As you can see, it kind of reminds me of the 90s and early 2000s. I don't know why, but it does. So, and then the watch looks like this. Can you see how it is like a little bent? Yeah, we will just try that. Because, wow. Okay, so I don't have anything on my eyes. I just have concealer on my under eyes. So, let's go. I have no idea how to use this. Like with the, the curved side or with the, the rather flat side. I have no idea. We'll see. Do you see this? Oh my god. Okay. I like this. Wow. I'm actually really enjoying that. This is what it looks like without. Okay, okay. I'm zooming out just a little bit because the camera's right in my face. Um. I actually really like this. I mean, I haven't seen uh, what they said, fiber enhanced. Because sometimes when you have a fiber mascara, you actually see the fibers. I mean, you can see it a little on the mascara. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, fibers didn't get into my eyes, so that's very good. Now, keep in mind, I never use a lash curler. So if you use one, it probably looks even better and it's giving you a bit of volume. Because it is a curved one, so it will give you that curve that you need. But I actually wouldn't like this. It's not that bad. Honestly, I've, I've had worse mascara. I've definitely had worse mascara than this. Let me see if I can show you from the side. So, that was it. That was a very short mascara video because it's basically just me applying mascara. Like, what am I going to talk about? Yeah, it's, it's mascara. So, I'm very impressed with this. And if it's also um, stimulating lash growth, Okay, you know, I'm, I'm all in for that. It honestly doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised. Why am I surprised? I have no idea. I'm just, I just didn't think this would pull off so well, you know what I mean? But yeah, I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Have you had this mascara before? I don't know if this is like a new one or not, I, but honestly, I have no idea. I'm not really familiar with Ico. Uh, this is made in South Korea, I just realized. I personally think it's very cool to see where products are made from. Okay, so this is editing, Jess, right now. Um. I've been using that mascara for two days now, and I've decided to get rid of it. Why? Because, I mean, usually I don't have a problem with fiber mascara. You know, it doesn't really bother me, it doesn't irritate my eyes, it's, everything is fine. But this mascara... I mean, my lashes look good, but the fibers, they're just everywhere. Last night, when I tried to remove it, I had fibers in my eye. Like, literally. I, I, I had to go in with a Q-tip, um, just here in the corner of my eye very softly and very gently trying to get that out. It hurts. It was literally stuck everywhere on my eyelids, on my lower eyes, on my on my lower eyes, on my under eyes. It was stuck everywhere. It it it's just not nice. You know, usually I don't have a problem. As you know I only use water and a microfiber towel to remove my makeup. And usually I don't have a single problem with that. Everything is fine. You know, it takes everything off but this mascara no. Um, so yeah, I decided to get rid of it. Um, I have an older mascara by L'Oreal that I'm currently using. I actually wanted to declutter that one, but given the fact I only have one mascara left, that's the one I have to use, so I have to buy a new mascara. Um, so yeah, like I said, while it looked good and it made my lashes look amazing and, you know, I actually was really enjoying it, but the more I use it, the more trouble I have and it's also, like I said, hard to remove. I had like panda eyes or whatever you call it. It was nice, so... As much as I loved it in the beginning, it's just, 
is in the decluttering and the empties back right now. So just want to give you a heads up and inform you that this mascara is not for me. Let me know if you have tried this. Have you tried anything else by Ico? Did you like it? And I'll see you in the next video.